right, here he is for my money. Might be the most well-rounded fighter in this division. A true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight. Maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Cannoneer is five years the elder. He weighed in at 205 pounds. He will have a five-inch reach advantage. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 14 wins, five losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, USA, Jared the Killer Gorilla Cannoneer. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch gloves, and we are underway. Ready. Ready to fight. Well, these guys have been on each other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategies the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance you have seen them put on. These guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Time this shot's pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. All right, early round one. We'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab, use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range. And start think about striking. Lee gets caught with that punch. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Ooh, 
looking to set up the head kick, but he misses. How good is that right hand? Back and forth we go. Cannoneer gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Punch to the body. No good, it's blocked. away from landing one of those big right hands. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Jared Cannon. Slips. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Cannoneer. Nice kick. Yeah, he fixed it all up. And he landed the right hand there. Powerful leg kick land. Oh, and he caught the kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Under two minutes now to go in round one. Move and recover. Just misses with that one. Cannoneer's cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Done moving the head there to slip that left hand. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Nice. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that first DC. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. One minute now to go in round one. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. All right, so Jared Cannonier with a window of opportunity here. Beautiful jab. Right up the cut, DC. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight moves are the ones that get there first. And it got right to the target. So under 30 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful legs. Nice punch by Cannonier. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Another nice leg kick there by Lee. Oh, and he caught the kick. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. Second round here. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Big head kick lands. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Big Paul punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Hip and 
to that leg kick. He is going to bash his bar jab. That's not a few of them. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Cannoneer gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change, make him think he's going low, and he right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Ooh, blocks the shot. He went high on that one. Oh, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that kick. Oh, that's a nice strike. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see... He gets on the feet. His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was King Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he landed that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. Good punch, land. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right there. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Connects with the right. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Got clip with the right hand. Big head kick lands. Lands with the right hand. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Look at the pull behind that leg kick. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Lee's strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Effective punch there by the Alaskan Jared Cannoneer. Slips the left hand. Oh, man, that cut is getting worse. Absolutely nasty. Another shot lands upstairs. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive on wobbly legs. Punch is blocked. Misses again with a right punch. High cross, baby. High cross. Give him a high cross. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Cannoneer. Oh, that right hand is on point. Final seconds here of round two. Nice hit. Here. Ten minutes in the books. All right, that's the end of the round. He's got a cut on his cheek from that round. There are certainly worse locations for a cut on the cheek. It's not going to trickle down into the eye. Nonetheless, pretty significant gash. We'll see if the cut man can close it up. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. 
All right, here we go with our next round, DC. Pretty good game plan in the previous round. Attack the body to great effect, and we'll look to continue to do so. He has done a great job of making the investment. The investment to the body that may not pay dividends early, but as the fight goes long, you will see it start to pay itself out. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Ooh, big shot land. Cannoneer's got a big bruise starting to form on the right side of his body. Nice leg kick land. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively, that's what. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Real sneaky body kick. Big punch land. Great effect. Blocks the shot. Now connects with a right. Lee gets stung by that leg kick. Great upper body movement defensively. Slips another strike there. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, what a punch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. earlier in the fight he is making up for lost time now trying to do damage now with the kick that's a miss well four oh and just like that the fight is over it's over it's over a near perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming so just the way he drew it up Exactly what he told us during fight week played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is what they will be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at three minutes, nine seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by no Jared, the killer gorilla, Cannoneer. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations.